Yeah, welcome back, guys, to Red Dead Redemption Two with John Marston, Abigail, and Jack. Now it's seven years ago since Arthur died. For some reason, I had it in my head it was three years ago. I have no idea why. My brain works very strangely sometimes. But yes, it's 1906. Arthur died in 1899. Um, I think Jack is 12. I might be wrong in that. Um, so yes, if I, I don't know, if you probably, you probably did pick up on the three, I expect. Um, anyway, so what are we doing today? Let's have a look at the map. Oh, so, okay. So just look at the map now. I've seen you can do activities just like you can do in your normal camp. Cow milking. So we could do some cow milking. I might do that off camera. Um, so I guess that increases our reputation or whatever, like it did before. Or I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. So we might do some of that off camera. And I've been told as well, sort of go with the flow with the quest. Don't go galloping off cross country. Just uh, let it sort of nat naturally take you um, from, from mission to mission. And I will know when, apparently, I will know when to see this dude here. I don't know now. So I think for now, let's go and see this Dave Geddes. It says, David Geddes, he needs a word with us. So, let's give him a word. Let's have a word with him. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Milton, What's I up? should like to have a word. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an... Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. <laughs> She's crap at cooking. You're such a pig! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Yeah, I miss Mr. Pearson. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. I wonder if they can be attacked. I was gonna say. What the hell was that? What are you? What are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Okay. They got Dickens over by the stables. Get the car. Okay, we're in that long John. Have we got any guns? No, we haven't. Rich man's folly. You. Uh, guys. What? New hand. Oh goodness me. Say we could have. Oh, oh, oh! We banged our head on the on the on the on the doodah. Yeah, I heard about you. Watch it burn. Crap. Oh goodness me, this is a bit unfair. Two against one? I'm not doing very well. I'm not doing very well for this. Right, it's going to be him. Right, Laramine Gang. So this is the new. This is one of the other gangs that we, which we did. We're undiscovered, I guess. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks it can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. The land of second chances. Come in, it's me! What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. 
We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Okay, at least has got change. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Right out to Hanging yeah, Dog yeah, Ranch. Yeah. Hanging Dog Ranch. I recognise that. Oh, Hanging Dog Ranch. <laughs> Hang on a second. Right, yeah. So Hanging Dog Ranch. I, we went there. It was the old Driscolls. We went there with Sadie, and she finished off that guy who killed her husband. Um. Anyway, let's keep going. So we got, okay, we got our, what we got? We got John's Cattleman Revolver, so yeah, so we, we got no... Um. We have literally started again, haven't we? I was thinking even on the money, we got no money left either. Okay. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. Couple guards out front. Couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. been coming up to pronghorn I thought I'd come down here you're all so tough come have a word with me you here to cut a deal you're too late partner I'm here for our cattle and to teach some manners to all of okay Let's go in. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a gun over there as well. Someone's dropped. I ain't got time to look out. This isn't a bad gun, actually. What? Well, I don't know what gun this was. I didn't check it out. Hey, look, in the barn. His uh, dead eye seems different. It's more about. Uh, I'm probably running in too quickly here. Oh, what gun is it? Oh, hang on. I've got to change your guns here without even meaning to. Look out. That's a bad business, Jim. Okay. Is there anyone else? One more guy there. Oh, that's it. Right. What's this gun over here, then? I saw... Oh, what's this? We have got a pump action shotgun. We will grab it, but. Wait, where's the, where's the bullets? Where's the shooting coming from? Right, I've got no dead eyes. Why do I have any dead eyes? I've got Jolly Jacks. Okay, we might have to give you dead eye experience. They've taken over the Driscoll's ranch, haven't they? These guys? Jim Milton! Jim Milton, you son of a bitch! I see you, Milton. You're gonna be sorry for what you've done. You're gonna pay, all right. You and your wife. That's the fellow who shot my feet up! I got this! You boys take cattle! See you back there, son. Well, I'll tell you what, let's have... Oh, not that one. Let's have, um... Let's have one of them, just to get our half up. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to loot this place. I think we need it. Hey! Hey! I know you're in here. Oh, oh there he is! <laughs> backwards! Sucker, no good trash. 
I was gonna shoot him, but I thought that was one about us. Oh, that's a bit naughty. That's all you got. Right, he's having it. Or maybe I am. That's it, John. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes. Right, mind your horse. Right, I will do, but there's probably a time limit. I don't care. I'm going to loot this, uh, loot this place out. I need it. I need the stuff. Okay, so I've looted most people. Um, there's a few dead bodies I haven't looted yet. And one thing also I noticed... Uh, was a cigarette card. Smoking another hobbies. Um, I've got all 12 sets. I thought I posted them. And... Maybe I didn't then. I'm not sure I posted these these ones, but all card sets posted, so I've got all of them. So I'm gonna have to post those as well at some point. So I, I don't know why I didn't. I didn't know why I thought I put. I thought I did it, let's but go. obviously I didn't. But anyway, let's go back to Pronghorn. So I think the, the dynamics can be slightly different now. They know we're probably not Jim. They're probably gonna ask us. Who are you exactly? You're quite handy hey, with a gun. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight. But how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. She's not happy what? at all. What? We've all seen that face before, haven't we, with our what wives and girlfriends? Did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? I don't think you had a choice, really. Motherhood. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Yeah, but no one knows who he is. I so see him. Thanks, Abe. Oh, it's actually a person. Oh, here we are. Messenger. Hello. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Speak to Abigail at the house. Oh, okay. I don't think Abigail's going to be too pleased about this. She wanted a different life. But it's Ace. We get to see Sadie again. 
after all this time, after seven years. Just got to break the news to Abigail. I don't think she's going to be too pleased. Let's see. Abigail. No, she hasn't left, has she? Oh, there's a, there's a letter I can see on the table there. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Oh, that's the present that Abigail bought him. I think. <laughs> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? We hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Confidence there. <laughs> okay, um, so we have to go to Valentine, but first we've got to do some work. So, let's have a look. Well, let's get cracking. Let's just go to each one of them. I don't know what they are. Probably milking the cows and doing something with the hay and I don't know what. Alright, we've got to fix the fence. Showing. months later okay I'm surprised about that but that's her fool hey you know I was wrong about you You've turned into a fine worker Jim Milton oh thank you it means a lot hey you think I could speak with mr. Geddes see if maybe he's open to offer me some guidance no, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least thank you mr. Dickens God, he must really miss 
his son and obviously Abigail. But to not see his son growing up, it must kill, must hurt him. But anywho, let's see Mr. Geddes. Hello, doggy. Let's praise the dog. Oh no, we haven't got... Couldn't... Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Okay, the plan is to buy a ranch in Beecher's Hope. Let's go. John's Cattleman Revolver. Okay, so we got Sadie Adler and we got the bank, I guess. So, yeah, Ansel Atherton. Oh, it's in black water. Okay. So we have now access to this area here, which is an area we haven't been to before, which is wicked because we've got some legendary animals and some le legendary fish as well to do. Um, also, I want to pop by a post box as well. So I'm a long way. Um, I'm a long way. So I think I'm going to... I want to get a Sadie as well, though. Oh, decisions, decisions. I really want to see Sadie. I might go and see Sadie first actually because i do miss her um so i'm gonna go by wallace station i'm gonna send off this mail and then i can see sadie and hopefully we will bump into some strangers on the way do you think i don't know anyway guys um let's go i might i'll see you if anything exciting happens I 
Hello, I didn't realise that was going to be a mission complete then, so otherwise I would have gone all the way to see Sadie. John receives a telegram from Sadie Adler, motherhood, complete within one minute 30 seconds. Okay, uh, let's go and post, let's go and, um, we cancel an email, so, okay, let's forget that and let's keep going on to see Sadie. Great, thanks. So I have no idea what the hell this is for then what we can do with this i i, I thought we all ca cars posted we have we haven't got all of them or what it says we have i don't know guys i don't know what's going on there um if you guys know then let me know so i think we need to set a course for sadie adler and let see ya right see you guys there Okay, I can see our first stranger coming up here. This is good. This is good. It seems like a girl, a woman. Hello, what's happening here? Helen, hello, Helen. What's these fools doing? You are a fool and a nuisance, Please, brother. We have Helen, to get is this to this creepy there. little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? These this are two is guys. Why out of hand? Hands? Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. He escaped from his. Would you tell your talking monkey to go home, please, Helen? He was amusing at first, but now he's really quite tiring. Plus, I do wish they had shaved his palms as well as his face. Be quiet, you hobgoblin. His bottom is bright red, and he mostly eats bananas. You too. Is these the two from Valentine? Sir, we need a hat. You, uh, gentlemen enjoying the great outdoors? No, he's still a lizard. Cowherd gerbil. Mommy's boy. Vanity. Effluentist charge. Milk sap. You already yes, is, I said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sap. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. John, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! I think this will be the last time we see these guys. <laughs> I don't think they'll survive Good this. Luck. You crazy bastards. Oh my lord! Oh, the fools! The silly fools! I cannot believe they did this! Uh, come on. Let's go try and find them. All right, okay. Um, mount your horse and let's go find these two fools. At once. Okay, get on your horse. Follow me. I'm not sure what the best way to get down there. Yeah. Probably carry down a ways. We can't get there from this first path. Do you think they're all right? 
They might be. You want them to be all right? Of course. Whatever do you mean? I'm not sure we can get down from up here. It might be easier for you if, if only one of them was. Uh, you catch my meaning? Sir, that is a terrible thing to say. You got a favorite? I like them both equally. Then maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, Mister. Not oh, I see like them. At all. Sure. Right. Okay, we got to go across the water in here. I should have gone the other way, really, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right, dear, Helen. I didn't make. I didn't make John get him off. Come off, then. What have you done, <laughs> brother? Are you there, Agri? <gasps> Is that you? <laughs> I've had the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> I thought you were a goner. <laughs> it's a miracle we're alive. <laughs> silly, silly voice. You nearly died. For me. <laughs> She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know! You are a lion! Giant! You are an earthshaker! World conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Let, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! <laughs> Boys! <sighs> Quite some suitors you picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without me. No, probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Ma'am. Oh. So, was that... Oh, huh? I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest men I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> well, that's usually how it works. Good luck. <laughs> oh, brother. I wonder if that is the last one of the chain. After floating over a waterfall in barrels and injuring themselves, the two brothers realise how foolish their attempts to prove themselves have been. Okay, so that might be it. That might be it. So yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of things like um, picking. I just saw the ball rush stuff there. So I think off camera, when we have the chance, because I haven't got, got much time lately, um, I'm going to have to do some, uh, get some farming done, get some picking. So let's... Oh, what's this? Head up. Just a cave. Right, let's head to uh, uh, Sadie. Let's go and uh, Sadie Adler. Um, I will see you guys there, hopefully, unless we bump into another stranger. Oh, God. Can someone else here? Look. That rotten witch. This woman, this guy, was on one of the first episodes. Misery. Day. And not. I'm sure this guy was on something like the third episode or the second All episode. Years, or fourth or something. Well, she didn't want nothing to do with me. It's woman problems, right? Might be better you spoke to the lady. Yeah, he ran away. We started speaking to him and he ran you know, away. You remind me of a fella I talked to years ago. I was slinging these pebbles then too. Feller told me to be a good man and the wife come. Bastard ruined my life. That was Arthur. I spoke to him. Then she finally says yes. <laughs> what a mistake that was. Listen, partner. I'm hardly one to give marriage advice, but it's better if you stick to it. <sighs> Can't make things worse, I suppose. See you, mister. Should have never rushed to get that ring on your finger, Lily Mae. Okay. I was never known a more evil woman. Right, let's get going. 
That was quite interesting, seeing okay. somebody that Arthur bumped into. Going home no longer. You know what'll happen. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, that was quite good. I quite enjoyed that. If it was the same guy, I'm going to have to check the old video. I, I think it was like third or fourth, I can't remember. I did a quick check. It's episode four. It's about two minutes into the video, if you guys want to check. What's up? Strutting around. Hey, mister. Hello? I just want to be left alone, all right? Um, the greet. A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. What's the matter with him? Holding hands with that dumb. Hello, kid. Oh. Let's talk to him again. Or should we antagonize him then? You expect to win this girl with all your belly aching? Be a man, son. You're hey, mad. I'm plenty man, thank you very much. Oh, man. Much. <laughs> Is that mad? Well, you're obviously not. Uh, what do you think then? Are we going to antagonize him more? You ain't so much as a loaf of wet bread. Loaf of wet bread. What? Well, well forget you, mister. Anyway, I'll see you, I'll see you guys at um, Sadie Adler. All right, here we are, Valentine. So we're we have to go in, go to one of the. She's in one of the taverns, isn't she? I think she said on her telegram. Okay, you've not rearing. Okay, that's good. Howdy. Howdy. What's our? I just want to check what our honor level is. <laughs> not very good now. <laughs> yeah, it's about halfway down. Yeah, sorry about that. Right, we're gonna have to get our honor level up as well at some point. Okay. Where was it? Here. Oh, here, over here. Right. I wonder if she's aged? Let's have a look. Let's find out. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, <laughs> who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> We didn't hear nothing about you. You you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly, and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Well, look at that horse. From New York. Looks pink. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. I like her horse. It's pink, isn't it? It looks pink. Yeah. This is my Your monitor. Telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That change. Keep going. Yeah. Say... Relax. Christ almighty, Sadie. It was your... F so, what were you saying? I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. 
Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Stop! Yeah, don't mess with Sadie. She's a bit of a she's a proper killer now. Nice to actually catch up with her. It'd be nice to catch up with the rest of the gang. The nice gang. What's left of them. Hey there, friend. How can I help? Oh, all right. See what you can find. Like I said, Feller's name is Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Okay. Nathan Kirk. All right, mate, have you seen a Nathan Kirk? Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? I'm afraid I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's keep, let's keep asking around. Um, it's probably going to be in the hotel, I expect. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. We get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. All right, well, let's go into the store then and ask the uh, the shopkeeper, the storekeeper. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah, looking for a fella. Uh... New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Okay. Welcome Center it is. I thought this guy might uh, remember us and go, hello again there. We did walk, We did um, inquire about work in there, didn't we, for a bit? Right, uh, is this a Welcome Center here? That's not him, he's not you bald. Are. You seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Oh, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s -s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh... Up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Well, he wasn't that impressed. Right, let's go to, um, upstairs. To room number three. Hello, is room service. Uh, is this three here? Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. So don't you want? Oh, he's stop! Hey, that's Nathan Kirk. Come on, Sadie. Oh. Got him. Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on. Oh, oh. We gotta get after him. Remember, that was nearly good. Alive, I know. Okay, chase after and capture him. Right, we get the get the old lasso out. He oh, went we... right. Yeah, I've seen him. It's on my, I've got a mini map, Sadie. I, I, I have, so it is. Right. Let's go. Oh, goodness me. Shouldn't be too difficult. Stay on him. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. Well, he's quite quick, actually. For a New Yorker. And my terrible riding. I'm sure we'll do fine. Where's this place? 
Right, let's have a go. See if we can get him then. And I'm not. We're not close enough. We just wanna talk. That's a lie. Right, we're probably close enough now. You're monsters! Monsters! Yes. Oh, sorry. Let's hog tie him. You calm you down? We should loot him, really, shouldn't we? Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a is a desperate woman. Hey, you, hey, you Barry. What hey. now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. I do like her horse. Oh, is that nice no, bronze, isn't it? We're terrible at getting these right. After receiving the telegram from Sadie, John meets her in Valentine and helps her with some bounty hunting work. After arriving in Strawberry, locate the bounty within 30 seconds. Well, that's ridiculous. Uh, after mounting your horse, catch and hogtie the bounty within 1 minute 15 seconds. I bet it wasn't far off that. Alright, guys. Um, I might end that one there. I don't know how long it's going to be. Every time I edit it down, I hope it's not too short. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I'm going to do some stuff off camera, I think. Maybe a bit of killing animals and making some food, I think. I don't know if there's no point. I don't, I don't know if there's any point doing too much because I don't know how long the epilogue is going to be. Um, but anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on the next episode. Until then, take care.